Welcome to the Walt Disney Nature Conservancy. Now I'm located about 20 miles south of the Walt Disney World Resort. And this space is what Florida looked like before the Walt Disney Company came here and started developing the Walt Disney World Resort. And the Disney Company made a commitment to the state of Florida that they would preserve some amount of wetland, some natural habitat, as a part of their nature conservancy. So they've contributed greatly to this as a result of being able to build those giant theme parks that you see at the Walt Disney World Resort. So this is the result of part of the Nature Conservancy. It's really kind of interesting. It's really far off the beaten path. You have to want to get here in order to get here. You have to drive a ways and uh, it's a lot of side streets and you know roundabouts and different places that you come to get here, but it's well worth it. It's natural Florida. It's the place you come when you really want to experience what Florida used to be. This is really well maintained. There are some great trails out here. There's some nice places to kind of hang out and go around. And you can learn a little bit more about the history of Florida. Now, as far as the Walt Disney history and why they contribute to this and what it means in the grand scheme of things with the Walt Disney Company, I'll explain that now. Walt Disney was always a nature lover. He was a big believer in animals and their natural habitats. In fact, at some point, he created the True Life Adventures where they went out and they filmed animals in their environments and showed us what they look like. And they said they're not fictitious. And that would be true except for the notorious story about the lemmings jumping off a cliff that his producers decided they were boring and chased them off. But be that as it may, the idea was that he saw conservation as something we could all take part in, that we could all be a part of something. And so he used that as part of his lore and some of the things he was doing behind the scenes to think about how we interact with nature. Then in the 1990s, the Disney company started using Timon and Pumbaa, fresh off of their success in The Lion King, to promote this idea of Safety Smart, which was really about conservation, reducing, reusing, and recycling, and really produced a lot of content around that in and around the Walt Disney World Resort. Now let's watch a video that came out around the same time that expands on that topic. Dateline Disney. It is going to be the biggest and most ambitious theme park that we have ever built. With these words from the chairman, groundbreaking was begun recently on Disney's 500-acre Animal Kingdom, set to open in Orlando in the spring of 1998. With the towering 14-story Tree of Life as its centerpiece, the new park is seen as a celebration of animal life on Earth and a reminder of the care that must be taken to conserve their original habitats. Among the many environmental organizations that have contributed to the park's design is Conservation International, a group dedicated to conserving the Earth's living natural heritage. Our mission is very, very simple. It's to preserve the Earth's biological diversity and to demonstrate that human society and nature can live harmoniously. In order to be successful in our conservation objectives, we very much believe that we have to get the word out to the broadest possible public. Helping deliver that message is Harrison Ford. We hear every day about the increasing pressure on our global environment, the vast abundance of plant and animal life in our rainforests, our deserts, coral reefs, and oceans are under threat from the nearly six billion people on Earth. We are destroying the living natural resources, the land, the water, the air that sustain our lives. I'm proud to work with Conservation International and I serve on its board of directors. It's a unique and effective organization. Working in 20 countries, CI creates innovative solutions which confront unrestrained exploitation and development of what is left of our natural resources. Building partnerships with people as diverse as the Amazon's Kayapo Indians and the leaders of giant international corporations. Science, economics, and enlightened governmental policy are essential for effective conservation. Science tells us where we need most urgently to work and what can and must be done. Economics tells us how we can create jobs for local people so that their understandable needs can be met without destroying their fragile environment. And sound governmental policies ensure laws that encourage sustainable, responsible development. The president of Bolivia, using information gathered by CI's science staff, has recently protected over four million acres of rainforest in Madagascar, our scientists have worked with the government to create preserves for the rarest of the lemurs, the Indri, which leaps through the forest canopy like a kangaroo. 
In Ecuador, the fruit of the tagua palm is used to make buttons. These and other innovative small enterprises are helping to keep the forest standing. The final step is establishing laws and policies to protect the gains we've made. In Brazil, we're working with the government to ensure that the Pantanal, the world's largest remaining wetland, is not destroyed by poorly designed development plans. Much has been done, but much remains to be done. Won't you join us in this important work? I have to admit, seeing Harrison Ford with a mustache is kind of funny. Anyway, the Disney company had more things that they wanted to do. In fact, they produced this video some years later to talk more about the conservation fund and some of the things they have in mind to be doing. They thrill us. Make us laugh. And make us cry. They make us think. She's beautiful. Inspire us. And teach us. Most importantly, they connect us to the world of nature. And right now, more than ever, they need us. Through our efforts here at the park at Disney's Animal Kingdom to share the stories and our efforts in the field to truly make a difference scientifically in the community and with the animals themselves, our end goal is that we truly make a difference for those animals in the wild. The Disney Conservation Fund is proud to celebrate and protect the wildlife we share our planet with. From our experiences and dedication to animal care, to our work to save wildlife and our support of conservation heroes. The Disney Conservation Fund is committed to ensuring a world where wildlife thrives and inspiring all of us to treasure and protect the magic of nature. We blend the love of nature and a respect for animals that Walt Disney always had himself with making dreams come true, getting people excited about nature and about being out in the wild. Every single one of us matters and has a role to play every single day we make a difference. Let's learn to live in peace and harmony between nations, cultures, religions, and between us and Mother Nature. At Disney, we're not just talking about helping the animals that share our planet, we're doing something about it. Join us by taking action in your own community to save wildlife, inspire action, and protect the planet. I mentioned the Lion King, and especially Timon and Pumbaa, and they became important to the circle of life. This was a show that they had in the Epcot Land Pavilion, where they talked a lot about conservation efforts. When the Animal Kingdom opened, one of the key themes they had was Rafiki's Planet Watch, which talked extensively about conservation, and you can still visit that today. And then, of course, Disney got back in the film business, creating Disney nature films. Every year on Earth Day, they create some other content about some environmental habitat, some animals, and so forth, that becomes more focused on the conservation effort. And then, finally, Disney got into the business of actually committing money and resources to actually conserving and creating something greater to preserve our, our natural habitats for the future. And that leads us back around to where I started this video, in the Disney Wilderness Preserve. In this location, you can see how the Nature Conservancy keeps up all of this tremendous amount of wetland to look exactly like Florida used to look before the Walt Disney Company came. You can walk through it, you can walk on a lot of trails and see what Florida used to look like. So this is what the Walt Disney World Resort mostly looked like before the Disney Company came and started developing the theme parks. Don't believe me? Well, they actually made a video before they started construction on the Walt Disney World Resort to show you what it looked like and talk about the Nature Conservancy. Here's a clip from that video that kind of gives you a perspective, and we'll come back to the Nature Preserve in just a minute. Conservation was always part of Walt Disney's plan, and much of the property will be left in its original state, preserved for all future time as a wildlife sanctuary. The great blue heron flying above it is almost a symbol of the wilderness spirit that will be left entirely untouched. 
So as you take a walk through the Disney Wilderness Preserve, you can see a lot of the animals as they originally existed. Some of the animals that you saw in that video are here. You see the giant blue heron, ospreys, eagles, sometimes otters and other uh, land-dwelling creatures. You'll see them around in the areas as you walk through. It's a really fascinating place to kind of explore nature a little bit and get that feeling off the beaten path of what Disney World used to be. This is what Florida looked like before the Disney company came to town. And I just found it really interesting to actually walk along and see it because it really is pretty remarkable how this all looks. I mean, you just look at it and you see these preserves and you think to yourself, this is, this is what it's really all about. This is where we came from. If you're lucky, you'll see some interesting animals and uh, different things out here. For example, right there, right there, there's an eagle's nest. Talk about your basic idea of listen to the land. Just listen. This is nature calling. And that's the story of Disney's conservation efforts in Central Florida.